Hello, I'm Jenna Lyons, volunteer and supporter of a great organization right here in the heart of Central Kentucky called the Primate Rescue Center. The Primate Rescue Center is a nonprofit sanctuary that provides lifetime care to more than 50 monkeys and apes. It occupies 30 acres with buildings inside and outside enclosures and an environment built to ensure a wonderful place for each resident to live out their lives in peace and happiness. Our residents all arrive here from various circumstances ranging from laboratories where they may have been used for invasive medical procedures to private homes where they possibly were left neglected for years or mistreated by their owners. Some come to us rather healthy and well adjusted while others may require medical assistance and take time to adjust from psychological scars from their past lives. Regardless of how they arrive at the PRC, we get to know each as unique individuals and work hard to help them acclimate to their new homes as quickly and comfortably as possible. They are about to get a second chance at a new life. Although the Primate Rescue Center is home to almost 40 monkeys, one of its proudest accomplishments was the unification of their two groups of chimpanzees in the summer of 2000. In 1996, at New York University's Laboratory for Experimental Medicine and Surgery in Primates, which housed almost 200 chimpanzees at the time, the decision was made to close up shop. The lab's director at the time scrambled to lo relocate its animals literally overnight. The PRC agreed to take seven young chimpanzees from the Limpsid lab. Ike, Noel, Corey, Pasna, Jenny, Martina, and Rodney were all under the age of five and most were just babies, only one or two years old, like Jenny and Posna. They were brought to the Primate Rescue Center, far away from any threat of invasive experiments or lives in tiny cages living in isolation. They began their new lives full of fun in the sun and enrichment filled days. In 1998, four of our chimpanzees arrived at the sanctuary from Dahlonega, Georgia, Donald, Zulu, Hazel, and Victoria had all been living as household pets in a tiny 10 by 10 foot concrete and steel bunker, which was dark, deteriorated, and had little to no ventilation. The group had somehow survived in conditions unimaginable to most of us for years prior to their rescue. Following their amazing liberation, they were transported back to Kentucky where they received medical care and began their recovery and adjustment. Now recovered, although still suffering from diabetes, Hazel can be found most days relaxing in her hammock as caregivers try to persuade her to come to lunch. Before her tragic days as a household pet, our gentle and quiet Hazel spent time as a circus chimp housed in a tiny box atop the cage of a tiger. One can only imagine the emotional scars she carries from her past, and our staff strives to provide her with a warm and bright atmosphere to heal and recover. Our alpha male, Donald's age, is a bit of a mystery as chimpanzees were usually caught wild in the 60s and 70s. Chances are he has faint memories of his mother's murder and his own capture and long and frightening transfer from Africa to the United States as a baby. Donald is a kind and gentle leader and rules in a diplomatic manner. He can be found many nights sitting outside on his own. Possibly he's keeping watch on his trip, or maybe he's simply enjoying the moon and stars that were denied to him for so very long. As the two groups were united in 2000, instant bonds were formed. When young Corey met now matriarch Hazel for the first time, they embraced. Even now, we often see Hazel comfort Corey, now a rambunctious 17-year-old, after a fit of frustration, as the young males often display. 
All eleven chimps live cohesively and happily and resemble a natural troop in the wild. As Donald grows older, we watch in fascination as the younger males buy for a new position in the hierarchy. Each day with the chimps is full of wonderful new dynamics and an environment full of sun above their heads and grass beneath their feet. Although the chimps may seem like the stars of the show at the PRC at first glance, the monkeys don't take second stage to anyone. The Primate Rescue Center is home to 10 different monkey species that come to us from a variety of circumstances. One of the largest groups of monkeys we have at the sanctuary are our macaques. There are actually many varieties of macaques. Sierra, Lily, Gizmo, Boo, Tanya, Toby, Zoe, Luke, Brianna, and Bubbles make up our largest group of macaques, our Java macaques, also known as long-tailed macaques. Boo came to the PRC in 2005 when he was only a year old after gaining some notoriety for an attack on a drive through window clerk here in the state of Kentucky, although it was illegal for his owner to have him. He is actually a shy, sweet fellow who thrives now with his cage mate and good buddy Luke. Gizmo is kind of our proprietor around here, and the reason the PRC opened its doors in the late 1980s. To learn more about Gizmo's story and the history of the Primate Rescue Center, I encourage you to visit us at primaterescue.org. We have two pigtail macaques, Crunchy and Maddie. Maddie was surrendered to the sanctuary by her owner in 2007 when she was two, and her owner realized that Maddie needed the company of other monkeys to truly be happy. She keeps us constantly entertained with her mischievous games. She's quite the best. This sanctuary is home to five Reese's macaques, Leanne. Sawyer, Jane, Bailey, and Dewey. Dewey arrived at the PRC in 1997 when he was 10 years old. He came from a laboratory where he had been used for invasive testing for years. Despite his horrific past, he is one of the most loving and trusting residents on the property. He is adored by all the workers. Maggie and Mandy are both black crested macaques. Mighty is our third. She is called the PRC home since 1992. She is one handsome girl and she knows it. Unfortunately, she has type 2 diabetes and requires expensive medication daily. This also requires a special diet, but caregivers make sure she still gets her special treats, like frozen grapes. We have one Japanese snow macaque. His name is Jake, and he was found in 2003 by animal control, roaming a residential area, so little is known about his past life. We have discovered, however, as you can probably guess, he loves his pool. There are three spider monkeys that call the PRC home. Delia, Bisu, and Chester. They all spend long, happy days living in harmony at the spider house. Delia found safe haven at the sanctuary in 2002, when she was only two, after she was found in an apartment, abandoned by the owner, without food or water. Today she is healthy and happy and loves foraging in her pool for treats with her buddies. Our colobus monkeys, Alex and Gwen, are quite the characters. A stoic pair known for their persnickety palates. 
Yes. They really keep caregivers and volunteers on their toes when it comes to mealtime. A common question heard around the PRC kitchen is, did the colobus like it? If the answer is yes, the cooks get a great big pat on the back. Our five capuchins, Kelsey, Louie, Grady, Norman, and Cisco are quite the precarious bunch, as capuchins tend to be. Cisco arrived at the PRC in 2001, when he was about nine years old. Up until then, he had been a pet and spent much of his time neglected with little contact from humans and without the company of other monkeys. Now he has adjusted and formed strong bonds with the other capuchins in his group. Vernon Cricket and Bob are our three vervet monkeys. Bob was surrendered to the PRC by his owner in 2009. He was only a year old. He is one of the most energetic fellows on the property. You have to give his photographers credit. Go Bob Co. He wears us out just watching him. Vernon came to the sanctuary in 2004 with one of the capuchins, Norman. They were both privately owned pets, confiscated by authorities from a home in New York City, along with dozens of other neglected animals. As you can see, Vernon is now healthy and handsome, as is Norman. This brings us to Caleb. Caleb was attained by Fish and Wildlife in 2011 because it is illegal to own a monkey in the state of Kentucky. He was barely a year old. Caleb is an African green monkey and cage mates with Bob. He may seem little, but he's a whole lot of energy. He can be found on any given day in his rocket ship enjoying a treat, or even sliding down his slide as caregivers spray water down it for an added bit of excitement. Jenny Gibbon is a special girl to us all. She is technically not one of the monkeys, but a CMA, which is a lesser ape. Jenny has called the PRC home since 1992. She is our oldest resident at 40 plus years and lives with the spider monkeys. Her unique call can be heard from all over the sanctuary daily as she whoops and bellows her way into everyone's hearts. As you can imagine, providing sanctuary to such a diverse group of individuals must be a monumental task, but it is equally as rewarding. Part of the wonder and excitement of the PRC is the diversity and clamor of the day-to-day -day activity and needs of our amazing residents. Each has found a new home here at the sanctuary, and so many have bravely worked and continue to fight to overcome their past and continue to grow and rise to their full potential. We used to be afraid of giving up. The road was just too tough. Out here on my own, my path was so long.
Here at the Primate Rescue Center, we provide second chances at happy lives. I encourage all of you to learn more about what you can do to help in the plight and suffering of primates, both in the United States and the world. Just inside, just your